FETE 121 Study Unit 2 Electrical Parameters and Circuits In this unit we are going to have a look at Potential Difference Current Resistance Ohm's Law as well as a few resistive circuits What is Potential Difference? Potential Difference is when we have a high and low charge between two points, for instance a battery, in a closed circuit, delivering a current and is measured in volts. In the diagram to the right, A equals the battery potential, which might be 9 volts. After the current has passed through the 7 ohm resistor, we will have a voltage drop which is lower than A. If measured at B, the potential difference is always measured with reference to the negative of the battery. What about current? Current is produced by the potential difference and refers to the flow of electrons in a conductor measured in amps, indicated by I. So, what are some of the effects of a current? The first one we're looking at is the magnetic effect. If you spread iron filings on a piece of paper and you run a conductor carrying a current through the middle, you will find that the iron filings will arrange themselves in concentric circles around the conductor. The magnetic field direction can be indicated by the right hand rule of Fleming as indicated in the diagram. Point your thumb in the direction of the current flow then the magnetic field direction will follow the direction of your fingers around the conductor. If you change the direction of the current flow the direction of the magnetic field will also change direction. Continuing with the magnetic effect, we will find that it can be used in various applications. The first one is a solenoid which can be used to pull a shaft in a certain direction as required. Another application is in transformers which can be used to step up or step down AC voltages or currents. The last one we are looking at is the relay. When current flows through the coil, the armature will be attracted towards the iron core of the coil, which will then move contacts to open or close. The electrolytic effect B can be shown in the following applications batteries charging and discharging and also electroplating that is using a current to deposit metal molecules on a metal object. Let us now have a look at resistance. The definition of resistance is as follows. It is when current flow is opposed in a circuit and is measured in ohms, also indicated by the capital letter R. It is measured in ohms. Ohm's law and the relationship between volts, current and resistance. The current flowing in a circuit is directly proportional to the applied voltage across the circuit but inversely proportional to the resistance of the circuit at a constant temperature. Therefore I equals V divided by resistance or V equals I times resistance or finally resistance equals V divided by current. Other relationships can also flow from this one as indicated by the following diagram. As we progress 
through this course. The effect of resistors connected in series. In this configuration, the values will add together. In the example to the right, these resistances will add up to 9 ohms. Consider the following question. Why is the voltage across them different? Because resistors have different resistances, producing different voltage drops applying Ohm's law, which is V equals I times R. Pause a while here and calculate these voltage drops for yourself. Connecting resistances in parallel, their value together will always be less than the smallest resistor. Consider the following diagram. Why is the current through the resistors different? Because current can flow into the different branches, but the potential difference across the resistances will be the same. Therefore, I will be the potential difference V over that specific resistance, or R will be the potential difference V divided by I. For example, let us take R1 to be 200 ohms, R2 as 470 ohms, and Rn as 220 ohms. To calculate the total resistance will then be 1 over R total equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Getting the smallest common denominator, you will find that that will work out to 0, 0,0117. Now inverting 1 over R total to get R total, we also have to invert our previous answer, which will then work out to 85,67 ohms, which is much smaller than the smallest resistance in the parallel circuit. What is power consumption? The definition of power is the following. Power is the product of voltage and current and is measured in watts. Power can be calculated by the following formulas. Power equals voltage times current, but also power can be equal to I square times R, as well as voltage square over R. For your second task, consider the following circuit. We have a DC supply voltage of 120 volt. R1 equals 25 ohms, R2 equals 60 ohms, R3 equals 5 ohms, and R4 equals 15 ohms. The last resistor R5 equals 20 ohms. First of all, calculate the potential differences across all of the resistances. Calculate the total current as well as the current through R2. Calculate the power consumption in R2 or through R2 if you want. Submit your answers one week after this lecture have been posted. Just a tip for this task. Have a good look. R2 is in parallel with R3 and R4 together, while R1 and R5 is series resistors on both sides of the parallel resistors. EMF is short for electromotive force. The definition declares the following. It is the voltage of a source when the source is not delivering a current. 
In other words, the source is disconnected or open circuit voltage. What is the difference between a cell and a battery? A cell possesses an internal resistance which causes a voltage drop if current flows through it. A battery is a number of cells connected together in series. This will now have the effect that the so-called battery has a bigger EMF or voltage available. Take note of the different symbols used to indicate a cell and a battery. Let us have a look at batteries in series. They also add together their values. Each of them also has their own specific internal resistances which also add together. Therefore R internal total equals R internal 1 plus R internal 2 plus R N which indicates the number of batteries under consideration. Therefore the total voltage or EMF of these batteries will be 6 volts. What happens to batteries in parallel? The potential voltage value is equal to one of the batteries. The capacity is more because the internal resistance is less. Considering the following formula which works the same as resistances in parallel which then will also be smaller than the smallest resistance of one of the batteries in parallel. Studying for success. Make sure you understand these concepts thoroughly because the next assessment will be a test on all the previous information. Pay specific attention to all calculations.